Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to share this video with you because I am sharing how I organized my car using mostly everything from the Dollar Tree. My car is finally the most organized it's ever been. It's really been working really well for me. So I hope the things that I share with you help you in one way or another if you are trying to organize your car. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love organization videos in the Dollar Tree and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also please don't mind my fingernails they need to be done super bad so just try to ignore that and just focus on the organization now let's get into how I organized my car starting with the passenger side I keep this um, big like zipper pouch I got it from Target dollar spot a while ago in the zipper pouch I just keep random coupons so many Bed Bath & Beyond coupons and just coupons that usually like don't go bad gift cards that we have for restaurants and stuff I will tend to forget them so I'll just stick them in here and then when you open the glove box I just keep napkins in here and then I keep a little makeup bag some of the things that I like to have on hand I like to keep a lip gloss. I always like to have a beauty blender. I keep this Marc Jacobs, it's a highlighting stick. I also like to use this on my shoulders and on my chest, like my bones up there. It just makes it look extra pretty, but especially on your shoulders. And sometimes I'll forget to put it on before I leave the house, so that's why I like keeping this in here. I also keep a little brush in here. A mascara in here and an eyeliner just in case. I also like to keep some Q-tips on hand. Q-tips just come in handy sometimes. I also keep this mirror in here. It has this little thing that where you can stand it. What I love about this is if you need to freshen yourself up, you don't have to use the mirrors that come with these. I use this instead and I actually like this a lot better because it's bigger and I just, I don't know, I find it way more functional for me and it's easy to store. You just, you know, fold it down. I just stick it right in there. I have some pepper spray right there, some extra straws, and like I said, the napkins. And that is all I keep in this glove box. Over here on my side of the car, I keep this clothespin in here. I painted this um, part right here, but what I do is I drop some essential oils right on that wood, and I stick it right in here, and it is the best air freshener. I know that they sell essential oil diffusers for your car, but this, cost me like nothing. I already have essential oils on hand. I already have clothes pens. I've been using this for months and I truly love the way this makes my car smell. It smells so fresh and clean and you can use obviously any kind of essential oil that you want or fragrance oil. I love this little DIY hack air freshener thing. It's the best. Then on the side of my door, I just keep a hand sanitizer right here just because I like to have it there just to easily grab. I find myself every time I get in the car from go being out of the car, I always sanitize my hands. So like that right there. And then down here, I have this little trash can that I use all the time for just little receipts and straw wrappers and things like that. This is from Dollar Tree. I love it. And then this is mouthwash. It is a big old thing of mouthwash. I actually, this was my dad's car and it's a long story, but I'm using my dad's car now. And this was already in here and I was like, that's kind of genius to have mouthwash in your car. So I uh, just kept this big old bottle in here. You could obviously use a much smaller bottle, but since it was already in here, it fits right there. I was like, I'll just keep it there. And I use this all the time. My breath has been smelling so fresh everywhere I go because I'm not a big gum chewer. So love having this right here. In here is my, what is this called? like the center console area. So down here I have this little tray thing that is from Dollar Tree and it fits in here perfectly. I just keep some roller balls and some perfume and cologne. I keep these lens wipes. These are from Dollar Tree. I love them a lot. So I keep these in here for my camera or the phone or even my sunglasses. And then I keep sunblock. I have two different kinds there. And then I have a face sunblock. Then I just have some pens and pencils over here. I just keep some chapstick or lip balm and a couple more roller balls. I grab perfume out of here all the time because I'll forget to put some on. So I like having those here. Right here, I keep some Lysol wipes, some extra sunglasses, and then 
inside here, I use the sunglass holder from Dollar Tree and I store extra cords. This little sunglass holder is a perfect little holder for extra cords and chargers and stuff like that. So I love having this in here. It's come in very handy because it makes my cords stay organized. My daughter loves that we have this car now because it has a third row and she is obsessed with sitting all the way in the back. So these seats stay down unless we have more than two kids coming with us, then we obviously put it up. But for the most part, this seat stay down, stays down. So this is kind of how I organized the back. In this back pocket, I keep um, all the car information in here, like the little books that come with it, uh, registration, all of that, I keep it in this. And this is one from the Dollar Tree and it has the zipper pouch here so you can store extra things in here that you don't want to fall out, which I like a lot. And then in the back of this seat, this bag is from Dollar Tree. I recently hauled it. I needed a bag for my first aid little things because it was just kind of a mess back there. So I put it in this bag and I think it looks so cute. In this bag, I have this little thing that is from Dollar Tree and it just has some antiseptic in it, some band-aids of some random sizes. So I already had that, but then I wanted to add a few more things so I just kept that in here but I do like this because if this is all you need or you can just reuse this this fits really well in a glove box or like a center console but since I have this little area for my first aid stuff I'm just putting it in here and I have extra band-aids I have some Tylenol and I have some tummy medicine and some cortisone spray in case someone gets like you know a bug bite or something like that this definitely helps a lot so have all that stuff in there and then I have this other bag that is also from Dollar Tree it's like a bigger cosmetic bag I really liked the size of it it was perfect for what I needed because this is where I keep stuff for the dogs when we bring them with us I already have stuff on hand so in this bag I have this dog bowl that I bring with us you just open it out like this and you can bring it with rest with you to restaurants or to parks or wherever you're bringing your dog with you and love having this thing it's awesome then I just keep some dog treats and some dog poopy bags you know to pick up the dog's poop in here and then moving back to the kid section I keep this this is a bin from Dollar Tree I guess you would consider that a bin I don't know but I like the size of this because it's perfect for some paper some books you know coloring books reading books is what we generally keep in here and it's just easy for her to access I literally just keep it right on here, but this is a perfect size if you wanted to utilize underneath the seats that would slide under there, so perfect. And then back here is Lennon's legit domain. Don't mind the stains on the carpet. This is a newer bin that I've seen from Dollar Tree. It actually has um, little dividers and it's not a very big bin, but it's got a divider here and a divider here I think this is the only color I saw it in it's just like and it has a zipper on the bottom It's definitely a little on the flimsy side, but for something like this it works perfect So I just keep it here with her markers in here so they don't spill everywhere her headphones over here I have this little dish I don't know what this is considered, but it's from the office section at Dollar Tree and she just keeps some of her crayons right there. Then she also has one of these little trash cans. Then I have this other little cup that's from the office section with some of her other random things. I just like to keep it in the cup so it doesn't slide around everywhere. And then she's got a couple pairs for sunglasses that sit back here. So that is pretty much everything that I have in my car and how I have it organized. In the back, I just keep this bin that has a blanket in here in case Lennon gets cold. And I also keep this bin in here that just has extra shopping bags. Usually I actually put this in the front seat in the passenger side on the floor just so I'm reminded that it's there all the time. But my husband was with me, so I just bring it to the back if he's with me. But I like keeping all the bags in a little bin like that just so I don't forget about them. And then I also will use this bin if, we, if I'm cleaning out the car or picking things up I'll load everything into the bin bring it in the house empty it out and then come back and bring the bin back in the car 
I hope you guys enjoyed checking out how I organize my car. Like I said, everything has been working really well for me, so I hope this gives you some ideas or inspiration if you are looking to reorganize your car, especially doing it on a budget, which is the way that I love to do things. So again, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. I'm so excited because this week, for the next seven days, I'm going to be doing a whole week of all Dollar Tree related videos. I'm going to have a shop with me, um, a haul, a Dollar Tree decorating video, a DIY. So make sure to stay tuned for all of these videos. I'm so excited to share it with you because I did miss uploading all week last week and it's summer and schedules are just unpredictable when you have kids out of school. So hope you don't mind that but I figured you guys would enjoy a full week of different Dollar Tree videos because you guys love Dollar Tree just like I do so again stay tuned for that I can't wait to share it with you guys that's it for today though so thank you so much for watching I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye